Hey everybody, I wanted to do a sort of, um, I guess, review of today Amber Heard's um, cross-examination by Camille Vasquez. I have a couple things I want to get into as far as that goes. But um, yeah, it was just absolutely incredible. I did go on uh, Legal Mindset earlier today um, and did a show with him talking about it. I was not there in person. I didn't get into in person today because I showed up at the courthouse at just before two o'clock in the morning and the line was already like all the way down the... <laughs> all the way down the building. It was insane. I've never seen it like that before. Um, in the first week, I used to get to the courthouse at 7.30 to get a wristband and I'd get in fine, but that's not happening anymore. It then turned to getting there around six o'clock in the morning. And then as word started to get out, more and more people wanted to come in. And then you started to have to get there around four o'clock in the morning, but there were only like one or two people camping out overnight. Yesterday, uh, according to Andrew, people were starting to line up at like nine o'clock at night. That is insane. Sitting out there all night long and then having to be in court all day. I mean, that's just wild to me. I don't understand these people. You know, some of these uh, fans, I guess, are unhinged. But first, um, let's talk about An Amber's new PR guy. I think that that's important to cover. So, um, let's see. Uh, here we go. This is the first thing I wanted to cover. Am Amber's PR guy. Okay, so let me make that a little bit bigger. Hopefully everybody can see this okay. Um, okay, so Amber Heard's new... PR guru faced uh, harassment claims, has a history of DUI arrests. Yeah, the spin doctor representing Amber Heard during her legal battle against Johnny Depp is facing his own PR nightmare. After it emerged, he has a history of DUI arrests and a reputation as an alleged sex pest. Shane, uh, David Shane also recently made inappropriate comments to a Post reporter calling her beautiful, quote unquote, and later asking her to meet him at his hotel before a planned interview. Yikes. Heard 36 or recently hired the PR guru in his company, Shane Communications, to deal with her court showdown with ex-husband Depp, who she's accused of being a boozed-up sexual abuser. Shane also has a troubled past, however, including two DUI arrests in California that saw him sentenced for to two days in county jail, as well as forced into a program for people with alcohol programs. Uh, problems records show. Since then, he's been accused in a series of online posts of being a serial sex pest. Oof. Big oof. With one woman detailing how she got him kicked off the exclusive dating app Raya after complaining about him. Former model Holly Joker, 32, told Daily Mail she was the author of a now widely shared 2018 Facebook post that accused Shane of trying to, quote, take complete advantage of me in his condo in West Hollywood, unquote, after the two went to an upscale sushi restaurant, Nobu, on their second Raya date. He started getting really aggressive, like, come to my bedroom, let's have sex, she recalled, saying she even lied to him and told him she was on her period because she felt so uncomfortable. He said, I took you on these amazing dates to these really great restaurants, insinuating that I owed it to him. Oh, dang. Then he got super aggressive and pushed her head down toward his crotch. I told him no, and I got up, she told the outlet. He got angry and was like, I'll call you an effing Uber. Wow. Okay. Industry insiders told the mail Shane has such a terrible reputation with women, he has been dubbed the walking me to case of the PR world. Isn't it interesting that he's representing somebody with a, a me too allegation, right? Huh. How do you like that? Okay, moving on. Here's from Lon Cuck. This was great. This is the great uh, Camille Vasquez. Donated end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. Right? 
Look how she keeps looking at the jury. That's who she's looking at when she does this. So every time she goes to answer, she's looking at the jury. Like she's talking to them, not Camille. Very interesting. And note her Chairman Mao, Hillary Clinton-esque pants suit that I do not think is helping her at all. That's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it, right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. <laughs> Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety. Pledged isn't the same as donating. I love how she goes, incorrect. Like she's so arrogant and she's so abrasive. No, of the Ms. settlement, Heard, $7 that, million to question. charity and I, I intend to fulfill Heard. those obligations. Heard. That's not my question. Please what was try your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the seven million dollars donated not pledged donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity i use pledge and donation synonymous with one another they right miss heard they're not the same I don't thing use it synonymously that's how donations are paid miss heard respectfully that's not my question as of today you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes oh, no? shit. I have not yet. <laughs> and as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Correct? Boom. I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today... Oh, look at that smug you little... Donated, you see that smug little thing she just did? Amazing. Paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity. Right? I have not been able to fulfill those uh, those uh, obligations yet. Oh wow! I mean, that was just uh, that was just glorious. Continues. You can see uh, Amber though getting um, agitated, and that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything, and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Oh. Didn't get it, wasn't interested in it. I loved Johnny, that's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? <laughs> that's incorrect. Yes. You wanted yes. press. Yes. She wanted press and a In virtue general, signal. One does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. Wasn't my interest. Um, my interest is. Uh, yes, it was. Clearing my name and. At the time, clearing I was her being name, a liar, and my motives were being questioned. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was not any doubt that I. Guys, she's not likable at all, and she's not believable at all. I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. Oh, is that is that the case? Is that so, Amber? So um, the, the real Laura B here says Amber Heard changed necklaces and also curled her hair the same night, May uh, 21st, 2016, when these photos were supposed to be taken. Justice for Johnny Depp. I believe Johnny Depp. Amber Heard is a liar. So let's go back here to the beginning. Is she wearing different necklaces? Aren't these supposed to be from the same night? Yeah. This is, is she wearing to... different necklaces? She is. Look at the chains. You can see this one has little lines on it. See, like this. And now look at this one. Necklaces. Aren't these supposed to be from the same night? Those are different necklaces. Eight. Yeah, and the hair magically looks different too. Uh, not buying it. Not buying it. Amber Heard describing the phone incident. Look at her action. She hits the wrong eye. Yeah, this is amazing. You can take her. You can have her. And he, with that, picks up, just pulls his arm back with the phone and throws it at my face. Hit me right in my, it felt like my, my eye. 
you you take her, you can have her. And he in the eye, in the cheek. I mean, it's just really weird, isn't it? So no one's buying this. Uh, this lady says, this is my daughter who was punched in the face three times when she was assaulted. There is no way Amber Heard was punched. This is what happens to your eye. It swells up and you can't even open your eye. It looks like you're squinting. It, you get swollen like that. Uh, guess what Amber doesn't have? Injuries like this. I'm sorry that that's graphic, but that's, you see here the difference between someone who's a real victim and someone who isn't. And, and it's insulting. It's really insulting. I'm embarrassed to say, I think I would have liked to have believed that the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny, in which we fell in love and he was sober and he wasn't violent to me, lasted for a lot longer than it did. I think I would have liked to have believed that I I wasn't hit so early in the relationship and still stayed. He was also sober for a period in 2012, which was a peaceful time for us, in which we fell in love. So I right. had kind of allowed myself, I guess, uh, to forget that the beginning of that period. Oh, sure. Before he got sober was, was really violent and chaotic as well. How is it that you didn't just remember all of those events like this? That's, that's not how your memory or my memory works. You know, we were together for five years, almost four and a half. And uh, it was a very violent, chaotic. Sure. And very loving, emotional uh, uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. So as, as anyone can imagine, there was a lot going on. And uh, unfortunately, the violence became almost normal right especially towards the end it was just and who was perpetrating that violence it, it, it's it's hard to even it's hard to say that now but the violence was almost normal and you know your brain does with trauma what it does oh okay it best you can she had eaten uh johnny's weed when she was a puppy this is ridiculous had, uh bowel control issues for her entire life, among some other issues. She was right, you know, blaming regularly had to take her to the vet. Blaming Johnny, blaming the dog. Boo ate the weed, and Boo is the one that did the poo in the bed. Blaming Boo for the poo. Mm -mm. That to try to figure out, well, what was wrong with this dog? Um, never met a dog that was quite like this. Um, so she had some control issues, hence uh, why we would she liked to burrow in the bed. She liked to be in the, you know, by the f foot of the bed underneath the, the audacity. It was um, customary that they slept in bed with us, but Boo having the issue she had, we have to leave her in bed so that she wouldn't be encouraged to, to, to go to the bathroom, um, which would happen almost immediately once you put her down on the floor. And sometimes it happened in bed too. Did oh, you okay. Did any kind of prank? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. A and and why would that not be something you would do? Ah! She's all, lying. I don't think that's funny. I don't know what a grown woman does. I, I, one with BPD also and histrionics. Anyway. My life was falling apart. I was. Um, yeah, that's why you did it. Roads in my life. It was really serious, and I had just been attacked on my thirtieth birthday. Attacked by. My violent husband, with whom I was desperately in love. Oh, she's desperately in love with a violent it man. Mm -hmm. It was uh, not really a jovial time, and I don't think that's funny, period. That's disgusting. Uh-huh. Okay, is anyone buying this crap that she's selling? This we saw. That wasn't my question. Everybody likes her. Okay, so let's go to here. Um... Oh, yeah, I want to go to this part. The cross-examination. You did not have to file. That's not a move that, one, that, other, that the other party has to make. Okay. Well, and it's just not. Okay. Uh, and you did. Okay. Well, your team did. Okay. And then, within 
five minutes, it was five in TMZ. You just do the math yourself without any other thing, and that's why it's very clear. Okay. And I, I, I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that, and, and if that's the case, I'll, 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 I'll acknowledge it. <clears throat> you know, um, and if you say you say you have proof, no. then I'll acknowledge it. Look, I, I, it doesn't shock me that, 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 that any fucking yeah, it just makes sense. attorney would do something like that. It doesn't, it, it, you know, um, yeah. it doesn't yeah. shock me. But I'm telling you. No, my, I what if anything was going on with respect? Oh, Whatever the he needed them to say, that they were the same guards who had told me that I would lose Touching my life on this way. Here, say. All right. That I would lose my life this way. I nearly escaped with my life. She's so, she's so unbelievable, guys. From opportunity, commercial opportunities, people were turning on me. The uh, a campaign I shot dropped me. I mean, it was just I had never been inundated with that much press every single day. Me, 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 me poor me. Most can move this along faster if we do this a script uh for my uh, all right let's see eyes again doesn't he uh yes he does in that recording and he kept that promise, hasn't he? But here we go. As far as I know, he cannot look at me. He won't look at you, right, Mr. Heard? He can't. See how she looks to the jury? One of the first questions your counsel look at her attitude. You is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. Let's please play plaintiff exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. Right. And for the record, it's 2122 through 2140. Jury judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I have to verify and see how many people believe or side with you. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. And you were speaking with Mr. Depp. Yes. Mocking him. Said to Mr. Depp, quote, saying no one will believe you. you. Tell, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight, and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim, too, of domestic violence, end quote. That's what you said, right? I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. Oh. Right, Ms. Hurd? I could never hurt Johnny. You're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me um, and has sued other people or corporations. I said that as well. Wow. You didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe that he could or that he would do that, considering the relationship he and I had. I, I thought it would be crazy for him to do so, knowing what I know we lived through. Or, as you said to him in that recording, who was going to believe that Johnny Depp, a man, is a victim of domestic violence, right? With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he was a man who beat me up for five years. Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? <sighs> no, ma'am. And once no. he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and we can look either Ooh. of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. Let's look at what? Some of that. What? Oh, this is amazing. Step wears rings on every finger, doesn't he, Miss Heard? That's my experience, yes. Look how she keeps looking to the jury. Rings, are they? Uh, no, they are not. Every one of his fingers is adorned, your words, big chunky rings isn't that right that's my experience of him and mr depp is always wearing rings right miss heard that's my experience of him and you've never known him not to wear these rings and uh, that's my experience is he normally wore rings yes so mr depp was wearing these big chunky rings 
on every finger, every incident of abuse you've described to this jury, right? I can't say for certain it was in every single incident. But you've never known him not to wear rings, right? In general, um, my experience with Johnny is that he, will, he wears rings almost all the time. <sighs> Ms. Heard, do you recall giving testimony in a deposition in this matter in uh, January of this year? I do. Can we please play from your deposition, day two, 512, page 512, lines 11 through 15? You said yeah. he hit you During and he, the wore, he, he was wearing rings, right, Ms. Hurd? So he hit you with rings on every finger? I don't know if I've ever known Johnny to not wear rings. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Ms. Hurd, you testified to an incident in March of 2013 where Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times. Do you recall that? That's correct. And you testified, quote, you don't know how many times he hit you in the face. That's correct. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion, correct? Which occasion in March are you referencing? You weren't The specific. testimony that you gave on day 15 of this trial, March of 2013. You weren't specific as to the day. There were several incidents. The one where he hit you several times in the face. Uh, there were, there were, so, I'm sorry, just so I understand better, there were several incidents in March. Which one are you asking me about? The time that he hit you several times in the face wearing rings. Well, he pretty in much March always- March of 2013. Right. What are you asking me, I'm sorry? He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay, let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. Yes. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. Where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. That's correct. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. Not that it shows? There's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. So there's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he, he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. When, when he Despite hit her you several in times, the face count with, with rings, rings on, his, on his fingers. No. That's correct. Unbelievably stupid. Attention. And there's nothing on Other her face. You testified to another incident in March of 2013. 13, where Mr. Depp hit you while he was wearing a lot of rings. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, ma'am. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Yes, I remember that. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? I don't know if I've seen one. Um, I, I can't recall. There are a lot of pictures. You didn't produce any photographs after that alleged incident, did you, I, Ms. I don't know if I took one or if it's included. I'm not, I'm not quite sure which ones. You didn't show any pictures to this jury after describing that alleged incident that your teeth, your lip went into your teeth. You don't remember that, right? I, you didn't I show any pictures to this jury after describing that incident, right? I don't believe I've seen that picture admitted. That picture admitted. So there is that a picture? picture doesn't exist. I don't know which one you're talking about. There were, we have pictures from March 2013, yes. The only picture that you've produced and shown to the jury is the one that was just put up on the screen where you said he hit you multiple times in the face and you appear to have what is a bruise on your arm, correct? I believe this is what the only picture. appears to be a bruise. Right I like that. That's the only picture. We don't know for sure. It could be makeup. It appears correct? to be a bruise. So. And we don't know how she got it in the first place. You testified Bitch could have walked into a wall. Russia on or about June 26, 2013. Do you remember that? Uh, yes, that's correct. You testified that Mr. Depp, quote, whacked you in the face. <sighs> that's correct. And you went to the bathroom after that, right? I did. And then, according to your testimony, 
When you came out of the bathroom, Jerry Judge, Mr. Depp's security guard, who's passed away, pointed out that your nose was bleeding, right? He did that in the hallway. And you said you hadn't known that your nose was bleeding until Jerry Judge pointed it out to you? Yes, that's correct. I was unaware until he brought it out to me. I didn't see it when I was in the bathroom, but I wasn't looking. Oh, so, okay. So it's your testimony that you went into the bathroom and didn't look in the mirror, which I assume was in the bathroom, to notice that your nose is bleeding? That's not why I went into the bathroom. I went into the bathroom um, crying. I, I don't even know if I paid attention to the mirror. I certainly didn't enough to notice any blood. And you didn't take any pictures of your bloody nose either, did you? I did not. But did you use nail polish? Rested, Isn't that correct? Yes, that, that's correct. We had a press or a dinner. Um, let's please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 1248. She's getting demolished sure, here. You'll this see. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp in Russia, correct? That's correct. I'm going to move to That's admit. correct. All right, no objection. 1248 in evidence. You can publish. And this is you and Mr. Depp in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, correct? It was a dinner. Function. Does she look like she's and got a bloody nose and lip? Of the movie wasn't the premiere, if I recall. You don't have any visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. None that you can see? Um, let's look at plaintiff's exhibit 1249. Are, are you crazy? This is a picture of you, isn't it right? That's correct. I'm going to move to exhibit, admit, right. exhibit 1249. All right, 1249 in evidence. Yeah, there's no broken nose. There's no bruises. There's it's no tooth through the lip. Also when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? Look at her. She that looks fine. She doesn't even look like she's crying. To your face, do you? None that you can see. None that you can see. Even though Mr. <sighs> Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your With nose With the rings. Wet, uh, he did. Oh, okay. While wearing chunky big rings, right? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Wow. Owned. Also testified, Mr. Dept wrecked. Walked you in the face after the Met Gala in May of 2014, right? That is correct. <laughs> you testified that you thought he hit you so hard. He broke your nose. That's correct. You said your nose was, quote, swollen, discolored, red. That is correct. I took a picture of that. You testified you took a picture of your face after this. I did. But you didn't show that picture to the jury, did you? I would like to. I would like to? But you didn't show it, did you? That's not up to me. What? I understand you are under an obligation to produce all photographs after any alleged incidents of violence, right, Ms. Hurd? I produced everything. Where is it? You didn't produce any photographs after the Met Gala. I produced everything. What does that mean? You also understand that you're under an obligation to produce all medical records reflecting any injuries you allegedly sustained from Mr. Depp, correct? That's correct. And you haven't produced any pictures or any medical records reflecting a broken nose after the Met Gala in May of 2014, have you? I have given everything to my lawyers, everything. I've turned over her lawyer, she throws everything her lawyers under the bus. Is it your testimony, Ms. Heard, that you sought medical treatment after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose after the Met Gala? Not after the Met Gala, I did not seek medical attention. Oh, her nose was broken, but she didn't need to seek medical attention. Look how she throws her fucking lawyers under the bus. I mean, she just cannot take any responsibility or any accountability. She cannot be wrong. I mean, listen to what she's saying here. It's, this is the histrionics and this is the BPD on full display and NPD, in my opinion. Attention, no. You also attended an event after the Met Gala in May of 2014, didn't you? That is correct. And you went to the all-star comedy tribute to Don Rickles. That is correct. That was the next night after the Met Gala. That is correct. And there were pictures of you taken at this event. Yes. Let's pl please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 1252. This is a picture of you, Ms. Hurd. Yes, it is. At that event. Yes, it is. Oh. The night after the Met Gala. 
Yes, it is. The night after Mr. Depp allegedly broke your nose? Uh, I'm not sure if it was broken, for the record. Oh! But, yeah, you should see what it looked like underneath the makeup. Oh! You, you think makeup can hide that shit? I'm not sure it was broken. Now the story changes. Now it's, I thought it was. Now it's, you should have seen it under the makeup. Wow. He whacked you so hard in the face that you thought you had broken your nose. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, permission to admit this photograph? All right, one, two, five, two. In evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't have a broken There's nose, a guys. Of you, Mr. Depp, and Don Rickles, right? That is correct. Let's please pull up plaintiff's exhibit Ooh. one, two, five, three. Ooh, what is she thinking here? This is another picture from that evening, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, it is. Permission to admit exhibit 1253 and publish it. All right, so moved. 1253 and evidence. Oh, she looks fine. Oh, look, guys. Of you and no Mr. Depp broken nose. At the event, the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he had broken your nose. He did whack me in the face, and I did think it broke my nose. And this think. is you the night after? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Matter of factly, like, people are just supposed to believe that. Please pull up plaintiff's exhibit one, two, Oh, she's five, so eight. unbelievable, guys. This is also a picture of you at the same event, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit one, two, five, four. All right, one, two, five, four in evidence. You can publish. Thank you. And just to confirm now that the jury can see it, this is a picture of you at the same event, the night after Mr. Depp allegedly whacked you in the face so hard you thought he broke your nose. Unbelievable. Uh, this is a picture of me um, after he did whack me in the face. The night after, right? With yes, rings. Yes. I believe it was the night after, yes. Not buying it. It doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? I'm wearing makeup. So? Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? That's why I'm wearing makeup. Right. And that makeup doesn't mean anything. Swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. Ice will, though. I, oh, okay. Ice cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you might imagine. And for what? me, it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. Oh, okay. Where's picture that picture? You produced or shown I did. to this jury, right, Miss Heard? I have so I produced everything. But you haven't Where shown is it, it to this jury. I would very much like to. <gasps> my job. What? So your lawyers aren't doing their job? That's what you're I'm saying? Yes, that's fine. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Look at her smugness, too. See how smug she is? How much contempt she has? How un insufferable she is? Could you imagine? Imagine being married to that. The gaslighting. The lying. Unbelievable. To sit there and lie and exaggerate. Everyone can see this. No one's buying this at this point. She, these are the nails in her own coffin. She, I, I mean, it's really insulting to people who are actual victims. You know, do we need to bring uh, this picture up again? This is what actual injuries look like. We're not seeing that on Amber. It's just stunning. Incredible. Just incredible stuff. And I have to say, Camille Vasquez did an incredible job. Uh, better than even I expected. This is a front angle picture of you and Mr. Depp at that premiere, correct? That is correct. Move to admit.
Ms. Heard, you testified that in January of 2015, there was an incident in Tokyo before uh, Mr. Depp's Mordecai, the film yes. Mordecai's premiere. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. You told correct. the jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. Kneeling on That's her correct. back. In a closet. In a closet. You also told the jury that you wore a backless dress to the Mordecai premiere that very same night. I did. And you testified that you were checking for bruises in the car on the way back, on the way to the event to make sure that there, there were, quote, no visible marks, right? I was checking on my phone um, after the event what? to see, to make sure that nothing, they couldn't see anything. Your testimony was that you were checking in the car on the way to the event to make sure that there were no marks on your back. Perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the way back from it was after I was concerned. After, you know, really? that there would be marks in any photographs since we were being photographed at Johnny's press event. You didn't show this jury a picture of you in that backless dress, though, did you? Nope. Um, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. You didn't show this jury a picture of you at the Mordecai premiere wearing a backless dress, did you? I haven't had the opportunity to. Oh, I haven't had the opportunity to. Oh, did you want to? Um, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1256. Look at the smug look on her face. She's such a... Oh, she's such a you-know-what. This is a picture of you. And the Mr. arrogance. Dad, the back of you at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit and publish this picture. All right, 1256 in evidence. nothing on her back no one fucking mark you can see her entire back this is you in the backless dress at the mordecai premiere in tokyo right that is correct you would agree that there are no bruises or visible marks on your back in this picture no not that i could see not that i can see they're Show not there that's because they're not there please have plaintiff's exhibit one two five seven This is a front angle picture of you and Mr. Depp at that premiere, correct? That is correct. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit 1257. Okay. All right, 1257 in You poor bastard. I'll show you one more. Poor picture. Johnny. Plaintiff's exhibit 1258. And again, Ms. Heard, this is you and Mr. Dad with the Mordecai premiere? Yes, it is. Move to admit Plaintiff's Exhibit 1258. Okay. All right, 1258 in evidence. Published. Oh, look at that. Stress. Right, Ms. Heard? That is correct. You almost see her ass. You also told this jury about an incident in Australia in March of 2015. Yes, that's correct. You testified that after this alleged incident, you had cuts on your forearms, right? Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as well. Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when Mr. Depp, quote, clocked you in the face, end quote. That's true. That's true. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. You just took two pictures of Mr. Depp's writing on a mirror. Isn't that right? I believe so, yes. So you had your phone on you, right? At some point, I did have my phone. And your iPad? I had my iPad, I believe. And you testified that you were also raped with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? Yes. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Yes. She's such a liar. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. Not for the rape? Really? No, I did not want to tell anyone. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to. What? What? You also told the jury about an incident on December 15, 2015, right? Uh, where? I'm sorry. December 15th, 2015. Yes, that's correct. 
You told the jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. It certainly felt like it. It certainly felt like it. Backpedaling, backtracking. Sir, do you recall giving testimony on day 16 in this trial? <laughs> you were yes, on oath, right? Yes. Yes. She just gets demolished here, guys. Her credibility's gone. If she had any. Okay. To begin right. with. We'll get it. See the smug look on her face? The contempt? She's got nothing but contempt for this entire thing. For the entire process. And she, you know, there are a couple other things in here that I recommend you guys go back and watch. Um, you can watch this on Court TV, on Sky News. I do not recommend Law and Cuck because they are um, assholes. So don't give them the views. Watch it somewhere else. You can also see it on uh, other channels and stuff. But I will say, for my summary of how today went, I think it went very well. I think Camille did very good uh, cross-examining her and just sort of catching her in her lies you that's irrefutable evidence when you bring up images after she claims to have been horrifically beaten and you see nothing on her um how do you come back from that so it's interesting it'll be interesting i think to see what happens uh tomorrow in this case i think camille has done very well though she you know ha controlled the room the entire time she controlled the conversation she did not let amber um dominate at all which was good you see amber towards the end there when they start talking about the donation money she starts going into that shrill um smug arrogant jackhammer style of speech when she is talking about this stuff where you can see everything that not only Dr. Curry, um, the psychiatrist who diagnosed her with BPD and histrionics, said that she does, you know, the exaggerations, uh, minimization of blame, um, the uh, way that uh, of speaking, the gaslighting, blaming everybody else for everything. We've we've seen every single thing, basically every symptom here that Dr. Curry talked about, but also her own uh, marriage counselor slash therapist lady said the same thing about her mannerisms. There was a lot of projection too, where she claimed earlier in the day um, under direct with Elaine, and I don't think anybody likes Elaine, that uh, she was the one trying to get away. She was the one trying to escape and Johnny wouldn't let her and her friend I had to stand in between them and put her arms like this, like she was talking to a horse, you know, and just say, no, no. Um, you know, Raquel was never a horse trainer. She didn't break horses the way Amber did. So it was interesting, like she would not know those kinds of techniques. Amber would. It just sounds like a fan fiction. It sounds uh, unbelievable in many cases not physically possible. So um, I think that this entire thing is starting to fall apart for her. And I, I think she came off today as um, arrogant, smug, condescending, and as a liar. Somebody who can't be trusted, not trustworthy, not credible. So I think that uh, it was a very good day for Johnny Depp's legal team. And I'm interested to see what, what comes in tomorrow and how this goes tomorrow. Another thing we've noticed is how Amber's demeanor changes. It is as if her legal team are paying attention to social media and kind of YouTube commentary channels and taking what they say and sort of, um, you know, incorporating that feedback. So, you, you know, a lot of people had commented on her sort of exaggerated way of talking about things with the fake crying but no tears coming out this sort of like histrionic nonsense it seems like she's toned that down a bit 
Um, so it, it is, I, I want to see now how, if her demeanor changes at all going into tomorrow. Like if she listens to feedback and changes that again, it sh uh, it'll be interesting to see that. And I think it's important for the jury to see how her behavior, how her demeanor can oscillate back and forth like that, that you kind of never know what you're going to get and her ability to just go from one emotional state to the other. This was happening when she was under direct examination with her attorneys and um, Camille would object to something. Every time there was an objection, like you could see her demeanor change as if she was flipping off a switch and then she'd flip it back on. That is very important for the jury to get to see. And from what I have observed with the jury um, over the course that I've actually attended and gotten in to watch them, I don't think that she's going to have a good time now with these people. I think that they're able to see through her bullshit. We are, you know, you've got five men and three women. One of the men is older, an older uh, white male who has been around the block, shall we say, right? You've got a younger guy, um, probably in his 30s, uh, who he's the one that sort of has that, like, you know, he kind of goes back and forth, but he doesn't really turn his head. It's like he moves his eyes back and forth, and he always sort of looks kind of wide-eyed. Um, he's hard to read. Then you've got, you know, some of the jurors are wearing COVID masks. You have the Asian lady in the second row uh, towards the the right. Um, she wears a mask a lot. Uh, I think every day that I was there, she was wearing a mask. Then um, you have an African-American woman next to her uh, who also wears a mask. Then you have uh, two Asian men. And the Asian men, uh, one of them wears a mask. The other one is the sort of autistic one that takes copious amounts of notes. Those two also appear to be pretty young and in their th probably 30s maybe. Um, you know, I think, I think that they'll be able to see through this. And then there's a older white lady in the front row, front right, um, who at, pro at this point, I don't think he, Amber even has her on board with this, but you never know. Uh, the jury was always very stoic when I was in there. Um, it was very hard to read them, especially when the ones who are wearing masks, it makes it hard to see if they ever like smile or anything like that. You kind of have to look at their eyes uh, and try to infer it from that, and I don't like to do stuff like that. So we will see what happens uh, and where this goes.